Hey everybody, Ryan here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to walk you through how to uh, not only set a trade, but how to um, account for the spread when you're when you're placing a trade. And for those of you that don't know, uh, the spread is purely um, the cost of you setting the trade. This is how the the various brokers actually make their their money by people setting trades through them. And so I'm going to going to walk you through this and also walk you through how to how to set a trade and how to make those adjustments for that spread. So uh, just looking at the Aussie US dollar right now. So again, this is using the MetaTrader 4 aka MT4 platform. How to figure out your spread here. So when you have your, your chart loaded, um, on the upper left hand corner of the chart, uh, there's going to be a little arrow. So when you click on that, it's going to bring up this number here. So a sell number and a buy number. So how we figure out uh, what the spread is, is we just look at the, the two uh, bigger numbers for each pairing. So on the sell, it's 0, 1. On the buy, it's 0, 3. And simply the difference between those two numbers is the spread. So as you can see while this is recording, um, the numbers are fluctuating, but you can see the spread is about two pips um, to place that order. So what that means if you're risking uh, $5 per pip on this specific trade, you take um, that number, so in this case it's two pips, times the amount you're risking, and that's what's going to cost you to, to set the trade. So uh, right away to be in profit, you'd have to be making more than uh, $10 on this specific trade uh, in order to you know, be in profit on that particular trade. And you, know, you can cycle through the different currencies to get an idea. So uh, as of right now, actually, this currency is about one one pip. Um, let's see, we'll go pound New Zealand. So on this currency pairing, um, you can see this is substantially more. So the, the sell is at uh, 44, the buy is at 62, um, keeps on keeps on fluctuating. But, you know, you're you're around 18 pips just to place that trade. So um, my personal recommendation on this trade, even if you had a great trade setup, um, I would shy away from it because 18 pips, um, you know, it's going to cost you a lot just to just to enter that trade. Um, and you'll you'll just notice that as you scroll through the different charts, um, you know, different currency pairings will typically have um, you know different spreads to enter them. And also, it depends on what's going on with the market. If the market is extra volatile, uh, if there's a lot going on, uh, those spreads will typically be be bigger than they are during slow periods. So what I'm going to do here is I'll actually walk you through uh, step by step how to how to set a trade and how to adjust for that spread. So uh, we're going to do this based on the, the US dollar, Canadian dollar. So easy math, 0, 1, 0, 3. Uh, so we know the spread on this is two pips. So, you know, that's a that's a, you know, really small uh, cost of entering that trade. Typically, we want to stick with trades that are five pips or, or less to enter. So tools, new order. All right. So what we're going to do, um, and this is just a, a generic trade setup as an example, just so you guys, um, you know, have something concrete to walk through. So um, say we're going to enter this trade. I'll actually draw some some points on the chart here. All right, so say on this one, uh, we want to enter the trade at 126.30. All right, so our plan is once the trade hits that uh, point there, uh, we want to be in the trade. All right, and say, uh, sorry. Uh, we want our stop loss to be 1.258404. All right, so this is if the trade triggers, if it hits this entry point, and say it comes down, it goes against the, the way that we anticipate the trade of going, um, that's going to stop you out of the trade, uh, meaning it's going to uh, stop you out for a small loss so you're not going to wipe out your account. And then the next number, 
we're going to have is what we want our profit target to be. So we're going to predict that this trade is going to go to 1.2707. All right, so just to scroll out on this to, to give you guys an example here. So we want our entry point to be here. Um, our expected profit target on this trade is this point here. And then our stop loss is going to be this bottom number. All right, so then knowing that information, uh, we're going to go to Tools, New Order. And what I'm going to show you here is these are the numbers we want to enter at. We just have to adjust for the for the spread on these. So first of all, we'll set um, our entry price. So you want to go pending order. We want to go to buy stop. So here we want to enter at 126.30. But again, what's going to happen with the spread um, now you can see the spread increase a little bit, so it's now at three pips. What we need to do is add the spread onto this number. Otherwise, what's going to happen is if we don't account for that spread, um, you're actually going to be triggered into that trade at 1.26270. Uh, so we want to make sure we adjust for the spread. So um, again, it's fluctuating here two to three pips, so we'll just say three pips just to error on um, you know the the safe side so our entry would actually be 1.26330 all right our stop loss is 1.25840 so on this um, we actually have to subtract the spread from from this number here so on our entry on a buy stop we added it to this number on this one we want to subtract it So 1.25840. Um, so to adjust for the spread on this, we need to subtract the, the spread from that second last number. So um, again, the, it's been kind of fluctuating between two and three pips on this one. Again, we'll just you know say three to be safe. So our actual uh, stop loss would be 1.25810. Our take profit, you know, we don't have to worry about that. We can just keep that the same as we, we plot it. 2707. All right. Place the trade. All right. And we now have that trade set up. Um, what I'm now going to do, um, so now you have how to adjust it if you're, if you're buying. I want to walk you through how to do the exact same thing when you're when you're selling. It's it's opposite, but I'm just going to walk you through it again. Just, but but specifically in the sell, just so you know how that works. All right. So on this one, we're going to go to the Aussie US. All right. Here, 84.86. So um, this this trade will cost you about two pips to uh, to enter the trade. So we're going to do new order. Again, select pending order. This time we're going to do a sell stop. So um, in this instance, we're going to predict that uh, the US dollar is going to strengthen against Aussie dollar and it's going to come down. So just going to plot a couple points on here just so, so you guys have that information. All right, so the price we want to enter this trade at is 73185. Our stop loss on this particular trade is going to be 0.76860. Again, guys, these are just, you know, fictional numbers um, just to give you guys an example on how to do this. So this isn't actually a specific trade we're going to be setting. Um, and then our take profit is going to be set at 
one, three, five. All right, so just scrolling out to give an example. So this is our entry price here. This is our specific um, profit target. And then our stop loss for our entry is, is up here at 0 0.76860. So to set this trade, go tools, new order, pending order. We're doing a sell stop. So our entry, so the, the point we plotted on our chart is 73185. All right, so um, when, we did the, when we did the buy stop, we took this spread, added it to our, our entry price. On this, we're gonna do the opposite. So on this, we have to subtract it from our entry price, otherwise it's gonna trigger us into the trade uh, prematurely. So on this one, so right now we're at two pips. Our entry is 73185. So on this, we're going to subtract it from this number. So our entry would actually be 73165. All right, our stop loss is 76860. So again, when we did the buy stop, on our stop loss, we subtracted it. Um, because we're doing a sell stop this time, we're gonna add it to this. So on this one, our actual uh, stop loss, we add two pips to this. So we would actually be 76819. Uh, the profit, we don't have to adjust for that, so we would just keep the profit the same. Um, so that's 71350. Um, now we can go ahead and, and place that order. And that's how you adjust for the for the spread, guys. So it's uh, just a just to quickly summarize when you're when you're doing a buy. So this could be a buy stop. This this also could be a, a market execution where you're where you're uh, buying when you're going long. Uh, you need to make sure on your entry price that you're adding on on the the spread to that, and then on your stop loss you're subtracting. When you're when you're going short on a currency pairing, you want to subtract the spread from your entry price and make sure you're adding it on to your stop loss. To take profits, we don't have to worry about adjusting for that. But you know this this just makes you guys aware of uh, how the spread works, how to adjust for it, so that you don't make the mistake of you know maybe uh, having a trade triggered prematurely because you didn't account for the spread.